Hi all, welcome back. Replenishment is an advanced feature in the inventory of the Odoo platform. It is a process of maintaining the stock in order to maintain the quantity of the stock. Odoo ERP is the best design support system to manage the inventory replenishment. Inside the inventory module, we have this replenishment. The replenishment and the reordering rules both are connected. Let's move forward to the inventory module and see what the connection is and how to perform the replenishment. Okay guys, now let's get into the inventory module and see how the replenishment works. So for that I'm opening the inventory here. And inside the inventory, I'll show you how to directly replenish a product. So for that, go to the products tab here. I mean the products menu. And you have the products and product variants under that. So I'll choose any random product. So here we have a, a caustic block screen. I'm opening that. Okay. So once you open it, on the top, here you can see just next to the update quantity, you have a replenish. So just click on the replenish there. And here you will get the product. So you can give the uh, quantity which you are going to replenish. Okay. So here you have a brief description. Use this assistant to replenish your stock. Depending on your product configuration, launching a replenishment may trigger a request for quotation, a manufacturing order or a transfer. So once you replenish it, you have the run scheduler and all. Okay. We have the reordering rules and all these things are connected. Okay. So first let's do this replenishment. So I'm giving the quantity as 5. Okay, I need 5 units to be replenished. Okay, so this may trigger a, a quotation that is the RFQ. Okay, or even a manufacturing order or a transfer. So after giving this, you have the schedule date and you have the preferred route. So you can give the preferred routes. I'm giving the route as buy. Okay, I only want this to get buy. Okay, so I'm confirming it. Okay, so now a replenishment has been created for this uh, product which is a caustic block screen. You can see this directly in a menu that is we have a separate menu for replenishment. For that you have to go to the operations and there you have replenishment. So if you open it, I'm removing the filters. So we'll open each. Here you have one. Okay, so this is for corner desk. Here you have one which is for the drawer. Then also we have one for large, large desk and one for print media. So this is the replenishment uh, window. Okay. So here you can create new replenishment. Okay. So if you just click on new, you can choose the product here. So I'm choosing the product as a caustic block screen. So let's search. So here's the acoustic block screen and I'm setting the route to buy itself. Okay. Then you have the vendor selection that is from which vendor you are going to buy. If you have set it one inside the product means we don't need to give one here. Then you have the minimum quantity, maximum quantity and to order. So I'm setting the minimum as five maximum as 10. So there must be a minimum of five quantity and a maximum of 10 quantities. Okay, so here I'm giving to order five. Okay, so you can either order it once. So if you just click on order once, you can see a following replenishment order has been generated, which is for P00024. So by clicking order once, you can create a RFQ manually. Okay, so I'll show you the RFQ which is generated. Go to the purchase module here. And here you can see the RFQ created. Okay. So opening that. So this is the RFQ. So here you can see a caustic block screen and the quantity is 5. You have other information here and the alternative. So if you want to create a call for tender or not, you can do that inside the alternatives. I'm going to confirm this order. Uh, this is a purchase order right now. Let's receive the products. Validate it. And apply. So this has been applied. Now let's go back. Okay. So let's go back to the inventory. So that's how you manually like uh, click and generate an RFQ that is order once. Now if you open the, uh, you know, replenishment, I'm going to create a new one. So that one is being gone from there. So let's add customizable desk. Okay, so you can see the forecast for this one is 65. 
giving the root as by and here you are setting the minimum and maximum and to order as 5. So after giving this here you can see automate orders. Click on that. Okay, so there is no matching vendor price. So what you have to do, go to the purchase tab, add a vendor to this. Let's add Anita and a price which is 50. Go back. Okay, now let's automate the orders. Okay, that's done. So what happens is that the orders and all will be automated. Okay. Now under the configuration, we have one more thing, which is the reordering rules. Okay. So here you have uh, certain rules that is you are, you know, setting certain rules like for a product, you are providing the location, the on hand, the forecast, the preferred routes, the vendor, minimum quantity, maximum quantity and how much quantity has to be ordered. Okay. So here you can see the customizable desk. We've given the preferred route as by. So this is the one which we created right now there in the replenishment. Okay, so you have 5, maximum quantity is 10. Okay, and to order, I'm giving it as 5 itself, 5 units. Now, you have, I mean, you can see this as buy. Now, okay, you have the option to, uh, you know, order it manually here also. Click on order once. So you can see P25 has been generated. Let's go back. To the purchase and here you can see the one which is created open that here you have the rfq generated right now through the reordering rules okay so i'll show you one more thing for that let's go to the inventory go to configuration settings and we are going to enable the reception report so here's the reception report i'm enabling it and i'm saving it okay that's getting saved okay so that's saved i'm just refreshing okay after refreshing it let's go to the inventory itself and here in the replenishment I'm going to click on any one of the order ones. Go to purchase. As you can see the purchase order that is the RFQ has been generated. So here is it. And here you can see the source document is replenishment report. That is it has been created from a replenishment. Okay. Open that. Okay. So here you have the details and all taken from that replenishment. Okay. So the source document is the replenishment report so from a replenishment report i mean from a replenishment also you can order that that is by manually or even automatically you can order this so confirm the order receive products and here you have allocations if you open the allocations you can see the reception report now here you have the units uh, which are required if you want you can assign it from here Okay, you have the option to unassign it as well. Okay, going back. So this is the what? Transfer, you can check the availability. Okay, so here you can see it's reserved. Okay, so this way also you can what? Generate the RFQ for a required product. So replenishment is basically, uh, you know, to update the stock and all. Okay, you have to maintain the quantity of stock which you have on hand, right? So the reordering rules as well as the replenishment both are connected and through a replenishment you can just click on order once and an RFQ can be generated. So that's about the uh, replenishment. That's all we have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.